Quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. We'll have the action on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Ukraine against England. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And the starting 11 for Ukraine. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Luke Shaw starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Stones. And Bellingham. Shaw. And a passing sequence that's easy on the eye. Well, leaning back a bit, couldn't keep the shot down. Shaw. Phillips. Rice with it. Here's Luke Shaw. Shaw. Happy to shoot. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Ilya Zabanyi. In the right place to cut out the pass. Shot attempted. He got a good palm on it. A corner to England as they look to press home their advantage. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, a smart stop. It's one corner after another. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Viktor Tsigankov. Good tackle, take it away. He has teammates around him. And Bellingham, Rashford! And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And a goal! He's put it away, a celebratory moment. Yeah. 
Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. On with the action. It's been all England so far. You sense there could be extra punishment in store. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Wonderfully weighted pass. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway. Away they go again, second half underway, and it's very much advantage England. Well, we see more dazzling football from them in this second half. Now, looking dangerous here. Walker. And block there. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, spot on with that challenge. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. The size to shoot, and a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Matvienko. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. It's with Yarmolenko. Andrei Yarmolenko now. Sends it back. Is this the moment? Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Jude Bellingham. Chilwell. Maguire. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Just 15 minutes remaining. Chilwell. On to Rashford. Rashford! Oh, excellent diving stop. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Let's see about the delivery. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. That is not... And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And this could finish it off. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Here it is again, and it can be a risky penalty. But he hits it straight down the middle. The goalkeeper goes one way. 
The ball goes through the middle. Excellent finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Stepanenko. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. And he's won the ball. Could be threatening. He might profit from here, you know. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Ilya Zabanyi. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Matvienko. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Dovbik. And the final whistle is sounded. England victorious. Plenty of plus points. And Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack 